Welcome to this Lubuntu screencast and in this screencast I want to show you how you can play back MIDI files yeah under Lubuntu so if you have some old MIDI files or you have some you're just you have a MIDI keyboard and recorded some MIDI files on your own and you want to play them back even on old hardware this is possible very very easily so I've downloaded freely available MIDI files from the web just like the Star Trek first contact MIDI file and the Superman intro MIDI file. So if I want to play them back now what I need to do is just install a small little translator because our new modern systems and uh, of course sound cards normally don't have a MIDI chip and um, what you need to do is basically have a software synthesizer um, translate the MIDI files to your sound card to, to WAV files basically and then create the sounds out of the MIDI files. So this is basically an introduction on how to install this synthesizer and then how to play back MIDI files. This is really really easy. First of all you have to go to the software center so just go to the menu system tools Lubuntu software center and just type in Thai MIDI T. This is how the package is called and as you can see here uh, I've already installed it. Um, if you want to install it by hand make sure to also install the Time Unity Interfaces Extra package which will then automatically uh, put or pull the Time Unity um, package itself which is needed to play back MIDI files. So the Time Unity Interfaces Extra file is necessary if you want to have a graphical user interface for, for MIDI playback. So what you now can do is just right click and open up with Time MIDI plus plus MIDI sequencer. If you click on this, it will open up this MIDI file and you might hear something playback in the background. Let me make it a little bit louder. I think it's now hearable. The interface is a little bit old. So very old. As a but you might hear the, the uh, MIDI file playing back. It's using a default sound um, file or default sound um, module for playing back. So the sound module is basically a sound bank containing all the instruments, the virtual instruments that uh, produces basically the sound in this MIDI file. So what you can do is just download a little um, file called sound font, flute sound font. So what you need to do is just go to, I hope the Lubuntu Software Center finds it, and search for flute synth. And you find it only in application, but there is the option to turn on the expert mode. And now it should normally find also other packages. No, it's not finding them. So what you can do is also go to um, the Netflix package manager of course and then search for the appropriate um, package name it's called flute synth sound font so just search for flute synth in here and you can find flute synth sound font GM this is the one that you want want to have because it comes with a full fledged um, pair of instruments and uh, this one really really works well and, and plays back almost every MIDI file that's out there on earth. So what you can do is just install this one and now you have to configure Time Editor to use this particular sound font. And by the way if you are running low on hardware, uh, on, on hard disk space then I think this will, might be a little bit big because it's 130 megabytes in size this sound font so there might be a better alternative uh, I will show you at the end of the show. So what you can do is just um, install this one and then you have to configure time midity to use it. For configuring we open up a terminal by just uh, hitting Control alt and T. This will open up the terminal and then we need 
uh, of course Zulu writes to edit the um, configuration file in this case I'm using VI you can use whatever editor you like uh, it's an etc time midi t time midi t cfg and what you will see here is that a lot of text commented out but there's one commented in which is source etc time edit free pads cfg free pads is the default sound font which is used by time edit so the the sound bank basically of all the instruments but this is very limited and and so the midi files don't don't just sound so good or nice so what you can do is just um, uncomment this one here alternatively you can use the flute synth sound font so if you have the flute synth sound font GM installed what you can do is just um, mark this as comment and just uncomment the following here then just save the file and what you can do now is just open up the MIDI file again and time into MIDI sequencer And now it's just using the new. I'm trying to make it a little bit louder. It's a little hard to use this this uh, application, but it's a, it sounds a lot better. Ah, now it's getting louder. As you can see, guess you can hear. sounds a lot better so this is one thing that you can do another thing and very convenient ways if you have the hard disk space you can install VLC VLC has a flute synth plugin so let me go and yeah while I have the terminal open I will show you another way to install packages uh, let's search for VLC and then grab the output for flute synth and you can see that there's a plugin called VLC plugin flute synth so, so the only thing that you need to do is just install this together with uh, VLC I already done this so I will only uh, um, only start up VLC by going to the menu sound and video and there we have VLC media player what you need to do here is just go to tools preferences then click on show all settings and search for flute synth because you need to enter the path to the sound bank where all the instruments are located to uh, the sound font basically so you can click on browse here if you want to use the sound font that we downloaded the uh, flute synth sound font which is around 130 megabytes in size big in size you can go to use our share sounds SF2 and there you find the flute R3GM SF2. If you click on this, hit open, hit save. Now you can open up um, MIDI files just by dragging and dropping them to VLC and they will get played back. As you might now hear in the background. And this really, really is a lot better than the free parts stuff which comes with time entity first oh of course there's one little short trick that i want to show you that i mentioned before if you don't have the hard disk space there are other sound fonts which are smaller and perhaps they work also for you for your MIDI files but this is very particular depending on the MIDI files and the instruments that are used in the MIDI file I found a very very clever and cool one which is called Tim GM sound font something like this it's used by Heike project which is also another nice operating system but this is another topic uh, you can download this um, Tim GM file by entering this command in your terminal and this will download this timgm um, uh, sound font file which is around six megabytes big in size so very very small but as you will hear if you configure it in vlc for example again flute synth configuration very easily 
uh, just by choosing the sound font in my case I have downloaded it to the downloads directory here you have it the Tim GM 6 megabyte SF2 file hit open hit save again and let's play back the Star Trek first contact MIDI again you can hear now that the difference there is no much difference is there it just sounds very good just like the, the, the 130 megabyte sound font used. So it works for this particular MIDI file. It does not work for every particular MIDI file. So the Superman sound sounds good, all right, but not particularly very good. So as you can see here, it just worked. So this is also everything for this screencast. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you know now how to can how you can play back MIDI files very easily under the Ubuntu. I hope you enjoyed this screencast and thanks for watching. Until the next time.